I started playing when I was 16 years old. Like a lot of teenage kids, you know, t took a couple of years of lessons. Um, so between 16 and 18, I had a regular guitar teacher, um, like once a week, and did, you know, like scales and, and like barred chords. Um, but really basic stuff. I w didn't really consider myself like a serious guitar player. It was just something to do like a hobby. And But it's something that I always kept on the side that I always continued doing, you know. Um, but I... Then I went to art school, I, I studied fine arts, and I completely dropped the music thing for, for a long time, but I always had my guitar, like, you know, in my room or, or in the apartment. Four years ago, I was online and I saw this old artifact. I saw this square instrument and I'm like, what the fuck? And I, start, I started digging and realized that a lot of the guys in the 30s and the 20s during the depression didn't have the money to buy manufactured instruments. So the first blues guys were actually making their own instruments. And the sound that it was derived from those handmade instruments was really, had a lot to do with the sound of, the, of that music at the time, right? There was this one guy called Chicken Bone John, and he was in Britain. And he's a musician, he's a blues musician, and he also makes these crazy like three-string cigar box guitars. And I saw one of his and I contacted him and, and I just wanted to buy one. Uh, and he wouldn't ship to Canada. Uh, you know, he wouldn't he was kind of a hardcore, kind of really old school guy, I checked his emails like, you know, once every three months and answered everything at once, and then you never heard from him again. And said, so, Oh, I won't ship to Canada, too much trouble. So then I said, uh, screw it, like I'm going to make my own. And that's really how it started. I started making about five a month and putting them up on eBay to see what would happen and making little stories. So I said, if I, want, I told myself, I want to sell like, I don't want to sell the, the instrument. I want to sell like the, the, the way of life or the like, you know, so I... I write these little blurbs about the instrument and like the history and like try to make them like they were they had uh, like it was an entity in itself they had a little personality. Several months after I started selling on eBay, um, a freelance writer, American writer, contacted me through eBay and said, "I'm a freelancer for Playboy magazine, um, and I'm just starting out with them." And I need to impress them, like I need good stories, and I think this would make an awesome story for us. Like you've got these wicked um, cigar labels, some of them have women on them, we have pin-up labels, you know. And cigars and music, you know, like it's perfect for our magazine. Two months later, I get a magazine at home, and they did a little story, and they put our website. And that's when we started, we got about a hundred orders from that. I mean, they have three million readers, right? So that's really, you know, in a sense, Playboy put that emoji on the map. Like, yeah, literally, literally. Thank you.